Leaving Cape Breton, we headed southwest towards the Bay of Fundy. Hulls Harbor was definitely on our list to check off. Hulls Harbor isn't very big, but it is extremely unique. During low tide, the lobster boats are sitting right on the ground. If you sleep in here, you're not fishing that day. We had to stop and get lobster roll number six at Hall's Harbor Lobster Pound. I'll just say it wasn't a great lobster roll, but they are famous for their full lobster dinner. We arrived at Blamadon Provincial Park late in the afternoon. This place has awesome primitive camp spots and even better shower accommodations. drive up to Blamadon Park as it sits on a plateau overlooking the Bay of Fundy, but we arrived too late to hike to the Overlook. We were going to get up the next morning and go check it out, but the fog had set in and you couldn't see more than 30 feet in front of you. As soon as we descended off the plateau, it cleared right up. We'll call this section of the trip Wife's Day. She wanted to visit Halifax, Peggy's Cove, and Lunenburg, so we hit all three in one day. Look up Peggy's Cove on Google, it looks like a beautiful place that no one's ever at that you can go and take pictures of. But when you pull into the area, it's just the opposite. Full of tourists, much like us. It was just a little overcrowded, but still worth the drive. This place is beautiful. After lobster roll number seven, which was good, we got our passport stamped upstairs in the shop and then hiked around to see the sights. Peggy's Cove, I was a little done with tourism, but when we got to Lunenburg, its Google search pictures did not disappoint. Full of beautiful old ships, brightly painted homes, and an awesome quiet boardwalk.
Leaving Lunenburg, we headed south for Ovens Natural Park. The Ovens National Park is a privately owned 190-acre pristine reserve of coastline forest. This was really a special place. We got there later in the day, so we set up camp and went to bed pretty early. Check the weather, because we found a great camp spot near the end of the island, but it was extremely windy. The next morning we packed up, drove to the trailhead, and hiked along the cliff trails down to the sea caves called Ovens. Wow. Just wow. One thing that I did not expect to find was the Rose Bay General Store. This little place had it all, including the best lobster roll that I would find on this trip. If you get a chance, stop by and have one yourself. They also had something called an ABC, apple bacon and cheese sandwich. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. 